We went to a bluegrass festival with a bunch of Abbey Ale, which is a Belgian double. And it got to the point where Jeff was like, I'm not going out there again. You have to go out there. Because people would be like, this is kind of weird. Um, uh, what, and yeah. Tell me why. What, what because, was weird about uh, it? Well, a Belgian double in particular is a very estery, flavorful, cloves, bananas, malt. Um, it you know it kind of reaches up and grabs you and spins you around a bit and um, and people were not ready for that yeah. so but we didn't say ooh bad idea we should stop this whole thing we said well they'll they'll learn to like it eventually <laughs> and they did yeah I, I had the same experience when I started selling Brooklyn Lager in New York City in 1988 a lot of people uh, practically spit it out, you know. They said, my God, that's so bitter and dark, you know. Why don't you make a beer like Heineken? <laughs> I said, well, you know, Heineken does okay with Heineken. You know, I'm doing something different. And it, it's amazing to me, 25 years later, Brooklyn Lager is considered uh, kind of an entry-level, very accessible craft beer. People know what craft beer is today. 25 years ago, they didn't. It was a shock. Yeah. How do each one of you explain this incredible boom from, from 40 breweries to 2,500? I mean, I've read these numbers, 25 or 2,800, with another 2,000 in the works. What, what explains this, this level of involvement and passion? I think that um, Michael Pollan spoke at our craft brewers conference last week, and he suggested that craft brewing may have been the leading on the leading edge of um, our enthusiasm for food and um, provenance and, um, and craftsmanship. And that's a big part of American culture now. I think it's a big part of culture in other parts of the world as well. In reference to uh, part of the title of Steve's book, you know, the, revolu the aspect of revolution, there's some event, some incidents in your life where you had a revolutionary change in your view of beer. And that's what is fundamentally going on. It's not just about the brewers deciding to go and build a brewery. You have to have people drinking the beer and having the passion. How valid, honestly, do you think the word revolution is? in Steve's book. I mean, is it really a revolution? Is the word well chosen? <laughs> yes. Yes, I... I um, yes. Okay, so... It's not, you know, it's not a violent <laughs> revolution. It's a revolution of taste. Uh, it's overturning uh, a different order of beer. I'm thinking more that you are, you're actually speaking about revelation rather than <laughs> revolution. No, it takes me back to Baptist church. The, the, you the know, I, I, but I don't, mean it, I don't mean it in terms of revelation in a, in a religious context. The revelation you have when you discover something new. You discover a new taste. 